Uh, my name is Colin Kirk. I'm Director of Evaluation in UNICEF. Um, delighted to be here for the uh, uh, Evaluation Practice Exchange. Um, and uh, I've been asked to talk about uh, three lessons that I've learned in my career in evaluation about evaluation. So uh, perhaps the first thing to say is that uh, uh, I think evaluation is a very privileged profession because uh, when, we, when we do evaluation, we're very close to the implementation of programs, but we have the luxury of being able to stand back a little bit and uh, to reflect on how things are being done and, and indeed to reflect on whether the right things are being done. If you're actually involved in program delivery, you don't have that luxury, you don't have that time, you don't have that space. And if you're doing research, on the other hand, you're quite removed from the action. So evaluation occupies a very privileged uh, space. And uh, for me, it's a great source of personal satisfaction. But I think for evaluators, it's also a responsibility to use that space and to use it responsibly. Um, one of the things that I think we, we need to be able to do in that space is to demystify what we do. Uh, a lot of what we do is uh, rather technical. Uh, very often, when we talk to each other, we talk in technical language. Uh, so one of the responsibilities that we have is to communicate more clearly uh, and to spell out what we do in, in simple language and to demystify uh, evaluation. Uh, it's important that we have high standards, but using technical language isn't the same as having high standards and being rigorous. Evaluation uh, is not an end in itself, it's a, it's a means to an end. Uh, very important, sometimes we forget that. And, uh, one of the lessons that I've learned in working in evaluation is that we always need to be focused on what it is that we're trying to achieve. So uh, that means that one of the most important things that we can do in evaluation is to be clear about objectives. What are we trying to do? Why are we trying to undertake an evaluation? And when we write our terms of reference, we need to be very clear about specifying that objective, the purpose of the evaluation. I've read an awful lot of terms of reference which say the purpose of this evaluation is to perform an assessment. Well, that's no good. Why do you want to perform the assessment? Who are you trying to inform? What issue are you trying to address? These are all important questions which need to come uh, and, and be expressed as the objective or the purpose or the goal of the evaluation. So getting the terms of reference right is a really important uh, uh, lesson, I think, in, in, in being able to deliver uh, good and effective uh, and meaningful evaluation. Let me move on to another lesson. Let me move on to another lesson that uh, I've learned. Uh, and uh, again, it's a very satisfying lesson. And this concerns stakeholder involvement. So we undertake evaluations not for ourselves, uh, we undertake evaluations so that we can inform our stakeholders and even more important, so that we can engage with our stakeholders. So I undertook uh, an evaluation recently, we commissioned an evaluation in UNICEF recently of some funding that we received for improving our response to humanitarian emergencies. And uh, this was a, a grant which uh, followed on from a, an earlier uh, grant that we'd received for the same purpose. The earlier grant we'd evaluated and we discovered that uh, we couldn't really say what had been achieved because of the way the grant had been administered. Uh, the evaluation showed that it had been spread very thinly and uh, there were no indicators for the results that were expected and so when we came to evaluate it was very difficult to tell what had been achieved. So when we received a further follow-up uh, grant, uh, we worked with our colleagues in the humanitarian office to try to put in place uh, some good practices in terms of making sure there was some sort of a baseline, there were some sorts of indicators, and uh, that we would be able in future to tell what the program had achieved. So I think we were successful in that. We involved our humanitarian colleagues in the process of undertaking an evaluability assessment, in other words, was the, is, was, the, was the intervention ready to be evaluated? And they, they got the message very quickly. And they found it was something that would strengthen uh, their approach, it would strengthen the program, and eventually they would be able to 
uh, uh, the aspiration is at least that they would be able to tell a good story uh, about uh, the funding that had been received and the results that had been delivered. So uh, working in that collaborative way, uh, we found it a very useful and engaging uh, way of, of moving forward with great enthusiasm eventually from our uh, colleagues in the humanitarian side. So th thank you for this opportunity to say a few words. <laughs>